guys, it's Landon Blake from Redefined Horizons, and this is the third video in the set of videos we're doing on how to draft a really simple topo in AutoCAD Civil 3D. And so in the last video, we made some tweaks to our point label style for our spot elevations. That's our just our topo shots on the dirt. So we fixed the precision of the elevation there, got rid of the point number, got rid of the abbreviation so that that spells out ground it's a little easier for the client okay so what i want to do now is i want to go in before i start messing with the, with these other labels um, some of these labels are going to go away so for example i've got some labels here on some road striping and i'm not i'm not going to show those points the client the client's not going to need those points for the striping and so the next logical step for me after i've set up those spot elevations is i want to go in and add my line work so that's what we're going to do in this video. Now, to help with that, if you go to your geolocation tab on your ribbon in Civil 3D, if you're signed into Autodesk, you can turn on a GIS aerial. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. So you can see when I when I hit map aerial, um, this is a rural area, so the image is, isn't really good, but you can, you can see it'll give me a rough idea now of the kind of line work I'm drawing. Okay, in order for that to work, by the way, you have to right-click on your drawing here. Go to Edit Drawing Settings and make sure you're in the right coordinate system. So I'm in California State Plain Zone 2 U.S. feet. Okay. And we actually fl flew a UAV for this project, so I'll actually have a really good high-resolution, high low-altitude, true orthophoto to drop in here at some point. But a lot of this basic line work I can get uh, just with this GIS-grade uh, image background that we have now that just comes with AutoCAD Civil 3D by default in this geolocation tab. Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to create some layers for this line work. So I know I'm going to need some edge of pavement lines, and I'm going to have some striping that I want to add. So there's a road here. There's this driveway up here at the top. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that now. All right, so we're going to open our layer dialog. So if you're on the Home tab of the ribbon, you're going to go to Layer Properties. And you'll see that this template I got uh, from this our new company template. It's got all these layers in it. Uh, which is great but this is the national cad standard these layer names and my client is not going to understand this so they're they're not going to know what these abbreviations are so i'm just going to create some new layers that are a little easier to understand for my client and then when we're all done at the end of the drawing we'll go ahead and we'll get rid of these other layers that we're not going to use so i'm going to hit this button here that just says create a new layer Oop. let me uh we want to grab this filter. We want to make sure it's set to all. So it just created this layer one. Okay, so I'm going to right click on that and say rename. And I'm going to call this first layer lines, edge of pavement. So that's something really simple that the client will be able to understand. And I'm going to make that red for now, color red. Okay, sorry, let me open that back up. I want to grab that layer now. And I'm going to hit this button right here to make it the current layer. So that's the layer we want to draw on. Okay, then I'm going to come in here and I'm going to run the polyline command, PL for polyline. And I'm just going to start to connect the dots here. Okay, now you can see I'm not getting the snap I want. So I got to come down here to my snap settings and tell it snap on nodes. Okay, and so now it's picking up those, those points. Okay, so we're going to, now that we've got that snap set properly, we're going to... Just connect the dots here on this edge of pavement. I'm going to run that through these couple of driveway points here, too. Okay, and then we should have one more edge of pavement here. Okay, so we got our edge of pavement line work in there. We should have another edge of pavement up top here. So we'll add that. Let's see, we'll connect to this driveway shot here. Okay, then we got some lane striping here. So we'll go in and make another layer. We're gonna call this lane uh, lines call it road striping and we'll 
make that yellow and set that to be our current layer. Okay, and we'll run that polyline command again. And make sure we're snapping to those nodes. You can see I missed it there. You want to make sure you snap to those nodes. So that YD code, that's for double yellow line. That's what that means. Okay. All right, and then we got, looks like we got the white stripe here too. So I'm gonna pull these out of the way so I can, yeah, those were white stripe shots. So we'll go ahead and we can put that on the same layer. For what we're doing, I don't need to have that white stripe on a separate layer. So we'll connect the dots there for our fog line or our white stripes. Oh, gotta be real careful there. I missed that node again. Okay, so we'll do another polyline to get the stripe on this side. Okay, and the reason I wanted to do this line work was to show you guys that once you start to add this line work, we can go in and turn off some of these points so it'll make the drawing a little less cluttered. Okay, so what I want to do is uh, we're going to go in and create a new point group now. So we'll go to our Prospector tab and we'll add a new point group. And we're going to call this uh, Frozen. Okay, and we're going to set the point label style to none and the point style to none. And actually, I'm not going to call I'm instead of calling it Frozen, I'm going to call it Invisible. That's a better name there and we'll hit apply okay now I'm gonna leave this dialog up okay and instead of using a description here to uh, instead of using a the description to determine which points get included in the point group we're gonna actually go in and manually select these so I'm gonna check this box with numbers matching in the include tab here this is in the point group properties I'm gonna say selection set and drawing and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in and I'm going to grab all these points that we just made the line work for. Because we don't need those to be visible once we have the line work. Okay. So we don't want to delete these points because the client may want to see them at some point. They may want to know what these elevations are. So we don't want to delete any of those. We're just going to we're just going to turn them off. It's going to make them invisible, okay? So they'll still be there. We can turn them back on at any point. Okay? So after we have those selected, so you can see there it builds a list and you can add to this list as you go. We're going to say apply, hit okay, okay? And you can see that those points now are are invisible, right? They're gone. So it makes the drawing a little cleaner. Okay, so now that I've done that, I've got that line work in, we want to go in and adjust these toe slope labels so that it's not running over the line work. If we can do that, it's just good, good clean drafting. Okay. Now I've got a point here, I'm not sure what it is because the cruise didn't put a description on it, so I'll need to ask the cruise about what that point is there. Okay, and then I've got a couple control points here. We're going to uh, replace those control points. We'll put a little symbol here. We'll fix that up in another video. Okay. All right, so now that that's done, uh, what we're going to do in the rest of this uh, drafting, as it, most of the rest of the drafting now, will be uh, to just go in and clean up these additional labels. Okay, so we're going to go in and look at all these points and figure out what what is what are they representing. Do we need to add line work? Do we need to change the label so there's no abbreviation? Do we need to add a symbol? What are we doing? Okay, so we're going to start that process down here at the bottom. I'm just going to work from south to north. So right here, you can see I've got a couple shots on the flow line of a pipe. They probably just shot that thing twice, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that point. It's a duplicate. Okay. And what I want to do is get rid of these abbreviations so that my client knows what it is. And so to do that, I'm going to just pull up the properties on this point. Okay. And then right here in the raw description, I'm going to just spell this out for the client. So flow line of 36-inch pipe. And then hit enter. 
and you can see that adjust now so it's basically functioning as a label right okay then I've got some uh, grade breaks here we're gonna pull out Actually, what I want, I actually want these grade breaks to function a little more like a spot elevation. Okay, so I'm going to go into my spot elevation point group in the prospector here, pull up the properties, and then in the include, we're going to add grade break as one of the items we want to include. Okay, hit apply. Okay, let's see if that doesn't look like it worked. Let's see what happened here. So we're going to go look at our list. Sometimes you got to play around with that wild card a little bit to uh, to get the points you want. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, nope, they're there. There's the grade bake points, so we grab them. Okay. So what i got to figure out is why, they're, why that label's not being applied. Let's try this. Let's go to properties and move spots up to the top of the display order. All right, so that's what it was. As soon as I move spots to the top, as soon as I move the spot elevation point group to the top of the display order, you can see those changed, and that's really what I want. The, I don't want it, the client's not going to care about the point number of the grade break. They're going to want to know it's a grade break, and they're going to want to know what the elevation is. So that's why I changed those labels. Okay. Okay, and this is this is getting a little tight in here. It's getting a little hard to fit all these labels, but we're going to do the best we can. All right, let's see if we can make enough room to pull out this other label. Okay. Now, this flow line shot we're kind of in the same situation. The client really doesn't want to know the point number there. What they want to know is that's a, that, that is a flow line and they want to see the elevation. So I think I'm going to add those flow lines to that same group. Okay, so we'll come over here to include and we'll add FL, the code for flow line. see why that didn't work let's look at that again for some reason that didn't work nope there's the flow line shot right there so it did work so I'm not sure why that's not let's do a regen okay so I just needed to do a regen okay now the clients not gonna know what FL is probably so we're gonna go back and use that same trick we did before with the description keys so I want to overwrite all the flow lines in the drawing right so I don't want to go in and edit every point. So we're going to go into our settings tab of our tool space and we're going to go to point, description key sets, and we're going to edit this and we're going to see, we should have a flow line code in here. Uh, all right, so we don't have just a flow line code. We've got some different types of flow lines here, okay? So I need to add the flow line code again. So we're going to say new, okay, and we're going to edit this to say FL asterisk, and then in the format, we're going to say, we're going to spell out, oop, sometimes AutoCAD's a little tricky. when you, If you don't click in that box just right, it kicks you out. Okay, so we're going to say flow line, oop. okay, hit enter. Okay, and then we're going to grab this point. We're going to say select similar so we get all the other flow line points. And then we're going to say apply description keys. Okay, so you can see those change to flow line. Now, that what that did here, that's not what I wanted here, right? Because I had some information here about the, about the pipe. Okay, and so what you can do is you can... Um, yeah, that's a little bit tricky. I'm going to have to figure out how to do that here. Let's see if we can overwrite it. Flow line of 36 inch pipe. Yeah, so you could, if you select it and then go into your description format, you can overwrite it on that one point, which is what we want. Okay. 
Now, I have to check the other flow lines. If I have other flow lines in here, you need to select them and make sure that you're not overwriting some other information in the raw description, okay, when you use your description keys like that. All right, so this all looks good to me. I probably need to add some lines here for the top of slope, okay? So I got a couple top of slope lines we need to add there, and I need to talk to the crew. This is like a a depression with a drain or something in it. I, I we gotta I gotta figure out what that is. So we may have some more some more line work or some notes to add there. Okay, so you can see here we've got a house corner of a house. Okay, so we need to add some detail here on the corners of that house. And let's see, we got some looks like we got a swale. Or so there's a slope here with a flow line, so we need to come in and clean that up. So we'll, we'll go ahead. We're at uh, just about 14 minutes, so I'm a little long. We'll, we'll stop this video. In the next video, we'll come in. We'll add the corners of that house. Then we'll come up here, and we'll clean up this slope and that whatever that flow line is. And looks like we got a maybe a culvert we need to draw in here. Looks like a culvert runs across the driveway. We'll draw that in. And then we're getting pretty close to being done. We'll go in, we'll add some symbols and some uh, modified notes for our control points but uh, we're just about done with this uh, with the ground topo then we're going to have some points from the aerial topo too we'll do some more videos that show how we integrate that so probably one more video maybe two more videos to finish up the drafting for the ground topo okay so thanks for watching guys i appreciate it